Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, as we look into the privacy settings of Windows 11 we're going to start with what is probably the most controversial of the privacy settings and it's the uh, telemetry being sent to Microsoft through Windows 11. So when you go to your settings, start menu settings or you can search for settings or you can right click the start menu and go into settings you will have on the left side a tab called privacy and security in here you will have something called diagnostics and feedback diagnostics and feedback is what you have here so here there's the possibility to send required and optional diagnostics data. Now they, they change this a little bit uh, and people think it's worse, but it's not. It's just that they've put a switch for on or off for the optional diagnostics data. So if you turn it off, then you're just sending required data. If you turn it on, it sends also optional diagnostics data. And what's that mean exactly? So starting with Windows 10, and that was a controversy there, they actually added a um, diagnostics feedback that Microsoft Windows actually sends to Microsoft for the uh, possibility of seeing um, all sorts of little details like, for example, um, any bugs or any crashes your computer might have actually experienced. And it's not just crashes that you might see because sometimes something can crash in Windows and you don't notice it. But Microsoft, through this data, knows. And so that diagnostics data is meant to be there to see how Windows behaves in the real world. And with that diagnostics, they can actually issue some bug fixes. And a lot of the monthly bug fixing updates actually come through the fact that the diagnostics data give them an idea of what is wrong in Windows in general. So if you turn off the switch here, that's all you're sending. The most basic data that um, the operating system is going to um, be able to have to just make sure that things are working well and get information about the different crashes. The data sent is very minimal, so it does not contain anything that could identify you as a user. It does not uh, contain anything that could be sensitive information that you have in your PC at all. And it is what they call anonymized. That means that it is associated to a number. And basically you're a number. But that number cannot be traced back to your PC or your user account. It's anonymized. So they just know that, you know, 34665 had a crash. And we're going to investigate if, you know, something can be done to fix that. And, um, but they don't associate it with any Microsoft account or, like I said, a PC they could identify officially. Now, if you send the optional data, that is the inc what in Windows 10 they call the full data. Um, that sends more information, including the data about maybe websites you went to browse. So that means there could contain some sensitive data in there. Um, some of the apps information could kind of, you know, get sent in the error reporting. Once again, there is a possibility of sensitive data. Uh, and also, for example, if there's a crash, they can actually also get everything, uh, kind of a, a copy of what's in RAM memory. And RAM contains, you know, your working windows and apps and could, of course, contain things like password, you know, by accident or any other sensitive data that could be temporarily stored in RAM memory. So this one is a little more delicate and a lot of people turn it off for that reason because it 
they, they feel that it's maybe snooping a little too much. I personally do not think of this as being bad, and I keep it on all the time. But that's any you know that's up to you to decide what you want if you want to turn it off or not. Um, once again, it's still anonymized, so even though it does get sensitive data, it most of the time will not be able to trace you back. But that said, I did say that sometimes in RAM memory or in some of the information or in the apps, the data sent, yeah, there is a possibility that random uh, data in an app or in RAM as the telemetry is sent could contain an email, could contain an IP, could contain really something that could trace you as a user. So this one is more sensitive, and this one, if you wish that you want to turn it off, it's fine. You know, the basic data is, is okay probably for Microsoft to get information. And if you feel better turning it off, fine. What's missing that people want, and I believe Microsoft should have given us that option in Windows 10, and it should have given us that option in Windows 11. If people wish to not send telemetry, there should have been an on-off switch. Um, I'll be fair about one thing here. I don't like the fact that they put an on-off switch here rather than giving you details of what you're sending out. Although it is up here explained what you're sending, um, I feel that some people might have the impression when this is off that there's no more data being sent, when in reality there's still required data being sent. Um, you know, people that look at this quickly might say, oh, I turned off telemetry, I'm not sending anything. When in reality, well, no, you just turned off the optional telemetry. I find this a little sneaky, I would say, and um, I wish there would have been just, um, you know, uh, like on Windows 10, you choose the full telemetry or just the basic telemetry. It was clear in Windows 10 that you were still sending telemetry, uh, but it was either the basic or full telemetry. Where here, people that look quickly might have the impression they just turned it off when in reality they're sending basic telemetry. Um, that could be clearer, honestly. But still, if you look at the top, it tells you. So up to you to decide. And of course, it's fine to turn off the optional diagnostics data if you don't want to send too much data. If you are, uh, if you like my video, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.